Yo, what is going on everyone? Memory here. You already know what this is. I don't even have to say it. I'm going to say it anyway though. We are going over the summer anime lineup for 2016. I've been doing these videos for a little bit now for the past couple of seasons and you all have really liked them and I like making them. So we're continuing with that trend and we're going to be going over what is coming out for the summer season. I will be doing one of those follow-up videos as well, like a little two or three minute video, letting you all know strictly what I'll just be live reacting to. But this one is going to be the whole season, what I'm interested in, what I'm going to be giving the three episode test, what I won't be watching, all that jazz. So without further ado, we are starting off with 91 Days from Studio Shuka. And something interesting I just learned, you guys probably knew this, but I didn't, I had no idea. Studio Shuka did the last three seasons of Dorara, I'm pretty sure. Brains Base did season one. I found out that supposedly people from Brains Base who worked on season one of Dorara left Brains Base and formed this studio. I didn't know that. I just recently found that out and I just found it really interesting. I wanted to share it with you all if you guys didn't know that. They're doing 91 Days, the people who worked on Dorara, which is pretty awesome. I haven't watched Dorara, but I've heard awesome, awesome stuff. I do need to watch it eventually sometime. I will. I promise. I'll get to that. But this one is going to deal with mafias. It's going to be pretty dark, it seems. It's going to be full of revenge, backstabbing, strategy, plotting out to kill others, pretty much. Our main character's family was killed by the mafia, some members of the mafia, and he's just set out for revenge. It's going to be pretty dark, I think. It's an original and from what I'm hearing, supposedly our main character may have to kill like one of his best friends or someone really close to him that was involved with the Mafia. So yeah, I'm really interested in 91 Days. I know a lot of people are. It may be like a dark horse for the summer season. I'll definitely be checking it out. The next one we have Active Raid Season 2, really. I don't know how that got a Season 2, but I, I watched like four episodes of the first season and I didn't really like it at all and you all know how I feel about my mech series but this was a different type of mech series it was like police mech suits and it, it was weird I didn't really like it I know a lot of people didn't like it I don't know how it got a season two but it does so if you're a fan of active raid then you're probably excited about this second season but I will not be watching it obviously because I haven't watched season one or at least all of it the next one we have here from TMS Entertainment, a mama to Inazuma, comedy sinin slice of life. Having lost his wife, math teacher Kohei Inazuka is doing his best to raise his young daughter Smoogie as a single father. He's pretty bad at cooking and doesn't have a huge appetite to begin with, but Chance brings his little family and one of his students, one of his students, really, okay, <laughs> um, that's pretty weird, Kotori Ida together for homemade adventures. With those three cooks in the kitchen, it's no wonder this dinner table drama is so delicious. So is this going to be based around cooking? Maybe? I don't know anything about the manga because supposedly it's based off a of manga, but I think I will be skipping out on this. By the way, I am going to be doing first impressions reactions for mostly everything unless I'm just totally, totally not interested and this may be one of those that I'm not really interested in at all. I literally dropped every comedy slice of life from this season. Say what you want, but they're just not my type of series, honestly. So I probably won't be watching that one. Maybe I, if it gets like enough word, word comes around to me and a lot of you are telling me to watch it, it's worth the watch, then I probably will pick it up or I'll give it a first impressions. But as of now, I'm going to say no. The next one we have here, Amanchu, which I have heard a little bit about. It's a scuba diving anime, which I don't think we've ever had one like that so I'm really interested it's by JC staff which we're probably going to have some beautiful visuals probably some fan service thrown into there as well because JC staff is known for that it's listed as a fantasy slice of life Hikari Koenata is a cheerful 15 year old girl who lives near the ocean and spends much of her time diving as a result on her first day of high school the oh on the first day of her high on her first day of high school, she meets a teacher who also likes scuba diving. There's also a 16-year-old girl classmate, Futaba, who gets dragged along in Hikari's maelstrom as soon as they meet at school. So it does sound pretty interesting, has a unique setting, one that I've never seen before. Obviously, there's been anime on the water, but with scuba diving and all that stuff, really interesting, and I'll definitely be checking that one out. The next one we have here, Ange Verge, which I believe is based off a card game from what I heard. It does say it's based off a manga, so maybe one is coming out or... Uh, some of it is out, I have no idea, but it's by Silverlink, listed as an adventure fantasy magic school 
Shonen. The story of the Ants Verge trading card game, see, <laughs> follows what happens when Haru portals suddenly open, fusing three different worlds together. As a result, mysterious, mysterious X-Seed powers are awakened in teenage girls. An academy for those so-called progress girls is built on the isolated Siren Island in the Pacific. Hmm. Sounds actually pretty interesting. It seems like we're going to have a main cast of females here. I'll give it a shot. I think I'll give it a shot. It does sound pretty interesting, but you know how them game adaptations can go. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. I'll give it a shot, though. The next one we have, Arslan Senki Season 2, which is only going to be 8 episodes. Oh, I don't know how all of you feel about that, you Arslan Senki fans. I haven't watched Season 1. I have heard good things about the series. I will, unfortunately, have to miss out on this Season 2. But 8 episodes is that a bad thing or what i don't know how much is left to be covered but eight episodes wow let me know what you all think about that if you're arslan senki fan but i'll unfortunately have to be missing out on that one next one we have here b project from a1 pictures just listed as a music i'm pretty sure it's going to be one of those idol like animes so i'm going to say no that's just not up my alley honestly but yeah nah, there's probably not a chance I watched that honestly uh but we'll see maybe slight slight maybe next one we have here Banania Banania an adaptation of Banania the banana cat mascot of the stationary company Q Lee okay is this like a cat that has like a banana costume or does physically this cat come out of a banana a banana peel uh I don't know maybe i'll check it out it doesn't look too good visually but maybe i'll check it out i don't think it'll be reaction worthy maybe it'll just be so downright freaking stupid that it's just funny but we'll see a lot of you've been joking like are you gonna watch banana and i'm just like what and i guess this is what banana is so maybe we'll see probably next one we have here battery from zero g zero g this is their first project being battery listed as a drama slice of life sports not going to read the synopsis, but me personally, I'm a big fan of baseball. I'm not really into sports anime that much. I've only watched like one to date, and that's Ping Pong the Animation. I love the hell out of that, by the way. Um, but I do plan to watch Battery from this season and Days, and maybe that's what it's going to take for me to get into more sports anime. But Battery, I'll definitely be checking out. I think it's going to focus more on the... Not the sport itself, but what comes with baseball. Like how you have to be mentally tough, what goes on outside the game, all that stuff. Uh, type of stuff. It's going to be more slice of life for sure. Uh, but either way, I will be checking out Battery and see what it has to bring to the table. I did watch the preview. It does look pretty good visually, um, but we're going to see what it does with the story. It's supposedly based off a light novel, so that's pretty interesting. The next one we have here, Berserk, which I don't have to say much about Berserk. I'm pretty sure you all know what Berserk is, but I do want to say one thing. The two studios working on this has me really, really freaking nervous, and I know a lot of people are nervous as well, especially those diehard manga fans who, I'm pretty sure it is like the greatest manga of all time. It's just rated so freaking high, it's expensive, so that tells you right there. But these two studios that are working on this, Gemba, which I believe are Gemba, Gemba, whatever, it's their first project ever. So right there, I'm just like, uh... But the other studio working on it, the main studio, I should say, Mila Penensi, I believe it's pronounced. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But the only thing they've done, and I'm not even kidding, you can go and check for yourself. They've only done comedy, moe girl, slice of life shows. Yeah. And now they have Berserk. <laughs> like, that does not add up. It's not even close. Because you have Berserk on one side of the spectrum. And you have all these other shows that they've done on the other side of the spectrum. So nervous. So scared. We'll see, though. I'll still be checking out Berserk, no doubt about it, just because it's Berserk. But I'm really nervous, and so are a lot of other people from what I've been hearing. The buzz around Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. And even the comments of my PV reactions I did. So, yeah, we'll see, though. The next one we have here, the second season of whatever this is. Binan, Coco, Chiku, <laughs> Boat, whatever. No, no, that's your answer. Next one, Cheer Danchi, which is going to be another no. It's a boy's... Uh, cheerleading anime at a college or university which is kind of interesting because usually those things take place in high school but I guess it'll have an interesting setting a different setting than your regular typical old high school but I will not be watching it I don't want to see boys cheerleading sorry about that next one we have D Gray Man Hollow 
I have not watched the first season of The Gray Man. I believe this is a sequel, but I will, unfortunately, I won't be able to catch up. There's like 104 episodes of the original The Gray Man, the first season. So I will, unfortunately, have to miss out on that second season, the sequel. Then we have Danganronpa 3. There's two of them listed on here, which I don't know. Some of you were telling me that I could watch this, um, but I'm thinking I probably shouldn't. It wouldn't be smart because I haven't played or watched any Danganronpa, so I'm going to say no to that for now. Next one we have here, Days, another sports one, which I told you all I would be watching by MAPPA. I actually just recently watched Shingeki no Bahama Genesis from MAPPA. This is not going to be CG Days, don't worry about it, but I love what MAPPA does with their works, especially what they did with the most recent one I watched that I just told you guys, but I will definitely be checking out Days. It says, the manga centers on two boys who were never meant to meet. Tsukushi Tsukamoto, who has no special skills but secretly hides a passionate heart, and Jin Kazuma, an isolated soccer genius. On a stormy night, the two meet, and that meeting creates a whirlwind in the world of high school soccer. Hmm. I'll definitely be checking it out. We'll see what it brings to the table. MAPPA usually does some pretty good stuff in terms of animation, visuals, all that stuff. And yeah, we'll see. Definitely uh, we'll be giving that one a shot. Next one we have here, Fake Khalid. Uh, it's season 4, I believe. I haven't watched any Fake Khalid. I know a lot of people don't like Fake Khalid. Um, but I'll unfortunately have to miss out on that one. There's no way I'm going to be able to watch 3 seasons. And I don't want to watch 3 seasons, honestly. Maybe someday I'll watch, but no. As of right now. The next one we have here, Fudanashi Koko Se Kaitsu by EMT Squared. The comedy depicts the daily life of Sakaguchi, a high school boy and also a Fudanashi who loves, okay, no, sorry, no, <laughs> I'm gonna skip out on that one. Next one we have here, Fukugen na Mono no Kien from Parrot Plus. I'm pretty sure that's like a, something to do with Studio Parrot, so I'm gonna say no to that, and it just doesn't look like something I would like. Next one we have here, Kondakun, which I believe is the prequel to Barakamon, set like six years, is that what it says? Yeah, six years prior to the events of Barakamon, so I do want to watch this one, because I've always been kind of interested in Barakamon, it's one of the highly acclaimed like comedy school shows, so yeah, I will be checking out Honda-kun, whether or not it will be reaction worthy, I don't think so, I'll probably watch that one on my own time, on the side, but I'll definitely be watching that one. Next one we have here, Hatsuko Monster from Studio Dean. Dean has been doing some pretty good stuff recently. I mean, besides Super Lovers, I really don't like Super Lovers. But recently, they've been doing some nice stuff. Like, they have Sakamoto. They had Konosuba. So, they've been doing some awesome stuff. Let's see uh, what this one says. When 15-year-old Kaho Nikado leaves her sheltered home to start life anew in a Tokyo high school dormitory, the last thing she expects is to nearly get hit by a truck. Okay. <laughs> Kazuma. That reminds me of Kazuma. Saved in the nick of time by a handsome stranger, Ka or no, he got hit by a tractor, I think it was, yeah. <laughs> Kaho falls head over heels for him, and after finally tracking him down, boldly confesses her feelings. Turns out Kaho's mystery savior, Kanade, is the son of Kaho's new landlord. I don't know about that one. I'm kind of on the fence about it. We'll see. I'll probably give it a shot. Next one we have here, Kono Bijutsu Bu Niwa Mondai Ga Aru. From Feel. Feel does some really detailed animation and work and all that. They did um, My Teen Romantic Comedy, I think, if I remember correctly. I haven't watched that yet. Comedy Romance School, that's what they usually do, those types of series. The manga focuses on an art club in a certain middle school and its members, Subaru Uchimaki, who is a genius in drawing faces but only wants to draw the perfect 2D wife, Colette, a rich troublemaker who never stops making mischief, and the club president who sleeps through sessions and collects sleeping aids. Mizuki Asami is the only person in the club who wants to do an art club-like activities and constantly struggles to do so. That one sounds pretty interesting. I'll give it a shot. I don't really know what to expect going into it. It's based off of manga. Um, I did hear like my team romantic comedy is like really good I don't know if this one's going to be on that level, but I'll give it a shot next one We have here love live sunshine. I believe which is like I don't even know what season this is or If this is a sequel or not it's listed as an original, but there's many Series seasons or whatever of love live um, So I'm probably going to skip out on that one Maso Gaku and HXH, you guys already know. <laughs> you already know I'm going to be watching this one. Action, comedy, etchy, harem romance school. Don't really have to say anything. I heard it's on that like 2 Love Rue, High School DXD level of etchy. 
So yeah, I'm going to be watching it. I need my Echi Harem for the season, and Gakusen's doing it this season for me. So we'll see, because I think this is like the only Echi Harem comedy we have here. So we'll see, we'll see though. I'll be checking it out for sure though. Next one we have here, Mob Psycho 100 by Studio Bones. The same creator of One Punch Man is behind this one, so it's a definite yes already for me. And I heard this one is a lot more like serious than One Punch Man. It's an action comedy shown in Supernatural, and I've done PV reactions over this one, so if you guys want to go check those out, go ahead. Pretty much, I think like this guy has this level sort of counter thing, and once it reaches 100, he goes like berserk. So yeah, that'll be pretty interesting, outrageous most likely, and I do like the art style that Bones is putting on it, you know, the Bones touch uh, that they're known for. So yeah, definitely going to be watching Mob Psycho 100, we'll be reacting to that one as well. Now we have Alderman on the Sky, and I don't know how I feel about this one. I, a lot of you are kind of nervous about it. They totally like screwed up the character designs, I guess. Madhouse, this is their anime for the summer. It doesn't seem like they're going all out with it. They do have that rugby one that's already been greenlit for like 25 episodes coming out in the fall. So maybe they're upping the quality on that one, upping the budget. But this one, it doesn't seem like they're going all out, like I said, but I will be watching it for sure. Probably will be doing reactions. I did do a PV thing over that as well, so make sure you go and check that out. That's a yes from me. Next up, new game from Doga Kobo, Kami Sin and Slice of Life. Meet Alba Suzukaze, a fresh high school girl, a, a fresh high school graduate, easily mistaken for a middle school student. Well, I could see why. Who joins the game company that produced her favorite game as a 3D artist and her cute antics as she gets her way through work and deals with her rather wacky co-workers so this one's based on games so I might check that one out I did watch that one we had like shoujo tachi that I thought was like pretty enjoyable it was average it wasn't anything like special but I did like the characters it was really cute so this may be one of those as well so I'll give new game a shot next one we have here is orange and orange is like selling so good in Japan right now from the sales like the first half sales uh, I saw from 2016 orange is selling really really good a lot of people are hyped for it for this summer so I'm just saying an instant yes I'm pretty sure it has to deal with like time travel time leaping uh, from what I was hearing it's a drama romance school shoujo we'll be checking it out for sure I'm not going to read the synopsis but it's just a definite yes for me just because of all the hype I've been hearing about it the next one we have here puzzle and dragons X an anime adaptation of the Nintendo 3DS game Puzzle in Dragons X from Studio Parrot. Probably no, honestly. Um, Studio Parrot and game adaptations just doesn't work out usually. So Divine Gate, uh, perfect, perfect example there. Perfect comparison. Next one we have here, Qualidia Code did do a PV reaction over this one from A1 Pictures. I think I already said that. I think I did. Whatever. I'll be checking this one out for sure. Looks like it's just going to be a simple action-oriented show. Maybe it's more. I'm not sure. It's an original, though. It doesn't look like A1's going all out with this one either, From just judging from the previews. But we'll see what it can bring to the table. I'll be watching that one. Next one we have here, Regalia, the Three Sacred Stars, the Ark of Counterattack, the Goddesses of Revival. That's all it says. From Studio Infinite. I never heard of them. Or I don't know what they've done. It's a mecha sci-fi. Yeah, I'll be checking it out just because it's a mech series. We'll see what that one offers. Wow, they don't have anything for that. That's That sucks. But I'll be giving it a shot. Next one we have here, Real Life, which I know a lot of people are fans of the manga. Is this one as well from TMS Entertainment. Romance School Sentence, Slice of Life. I'll give it a shot. I I'm just going to say I'm giving it a shot. I'm not really a big fan of like slice of life you know laid back chill series i don't know anything about this one maybe it's not all like that there's more to it but i'll just say yes for now just because i've been hearing a lot of people love the manga as well next one we have rewrite an instant yes for me i haven't done the visual novel haven't done anything with the novels by 8-bit 8-bit did some beautiful stuff with comet lucifer like visual wise so i think that'll carry over but Comet Lucifer like tanked in terms of the story. I heard the story and the characters from Rewrite are like really, really interesting. It has an awesome, interesting premise and some like crazy stuff goes down. Like people were telling me, don't be like tricked by the cute girls and all that stuff and like the cute innocent look on their faces. It's it's more than that to rewrite. So I'll definitely be checking Rewrite out. I know a lot, a lot of people are excited for that one. Next one we have Psycho. 
Kuso no Nan? Okay, the manga centers on a high school boy named Kosu Saikai. He possesses the supernatural powers that cause unfortunate events in his everyday life. Wow, simple enough. Shonen Supernatural from JC Staff. I think I'll give it a shot. I think I will. It, it sounds like it might be kind of funny. Um, so yeah, next one we have Scared Rider Zex. Adventure Romance Sci-Fi Shoujo from Satellite. Mm, in the Otome game, a world of godless people are being menaced by nightly... Oh, note? Oh, note? Okay. A mysterious alien invader from a crimson world via the crimson barrier scared. Scared. That's a weird... They have some weird names in this. To counter the Nightfly Oh, note's threat, the humans established a lag defense agency at the Ryukyu Islands. The anti... Nightfly O Note fighting unit. <laughs> this is so stupid. Scared Rider valiantly stood against the threat but was completely wiped out five times. That's why I don't like reading synopsises usually. Um, but I'll give that one a shot. Servamp. I know a lot of people have read the manga for this and they like it. It's an action shoujo supernatural vampire from Brains Base. When a stray black cat named Kuro crosses Mahiro Shirota's path, the high school freshman's life will never be the same again. Kuro is in fact no ordinary feline, but a servant, a servant vampire. While Maharo's personal philosophy is one of non-intervention, he soon becomes embroidered in an ancient, altogether surreal conflict between vampires and humans. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. It seems like we're going to have a huge cast of dudes. I don't know about that, but I'll give it a shot. Shokugeki no Soma season two, the second dish. You guys know. You guys know I'm watching. I just finished up season one that you all voted for. So the season two hype is real. The main tournament, it's going to be freaking awesome. Second season of Shokugeki no Soma was announced in Weekly Shonen Jump. You all know what it is. You all know what Soma is. Definitely going to be reacting to that one. Definitely going to be watching it. No questions asked. Taboo Tattoo, another one from JC Staff. My goodness. I did hear good things about this one from the manga as well like I'm not even kidding I've heard good things from a few of these series in here the manga which will be based off follows Justice Akazuka a young man who is good at martial arts Seiji rescues a homeless old man on the street one day from some thugs and the man gives Seiji an object that imprints a tattoo on his palm hmm however it is not an ordinary tattoo but a special weapon that gives Seiji supernatural such as warping space-time okay I'll be checking that one out taboo tattoo you're on my plan the watch list for sure. Tales of Zasiria, the X, did a PV reaction over this one, you foldable, that you foldable greatness, and they've done some pretty well video game adaptations. Really, they have. God Eater was awesome, at least for me. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings on that one, but I loved God Eater, known for the Fate series, of course. How could you forget about that? But I'm definitely going to be watching this one. I haven't played the games or I haven't watched any of the other, and they have like some little anime things out, I believe. Maybe like one or two. I think one was like 40 minutes. It was a movie or something that I might have to watch. But I'll definitely be watching that one. Next one we have here. Time Travel Shoujo Mari Waka to Aitnin no Kagakusha Tachi. I'm pretty sure this one was announced like really, really recently. Because I did remember getting like an update from it on my phone from like Anime News Network. And I think it's about this girl who goes around like time traveling into the past and stuff and history. So... Maybe I'll give that one a shot. Moving into the spring leftovers, of course, we have Coco and Nico. I'm not watching. End Ride, I dropped. Kuro Makura, I will be keeping up with. Kaokai no Rini, I haven't watched the first season, so I'm not watching that, obviously. And of course, The Greatness, Re Zero, I'll be keeping up with. So Kuro Makura and Re Zero from that. TV shorts, oh gosh, I just see the talking fart one on Aragoro, and I'm just like, oh god. I uh, won't be watching this first one, Grappi and Rodeo. I haven't watched the first season. Onogaru, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just think doing reactions over would maybe be like the funniest thing ever and watching it. I'm going to say, yeah, you all let me know, actually. If, if I don't get enough, you know, support for that, it, telling me to react to it, then I'm not. Um, next one we have Oz Mafia. The anime will feature an original story from the game on which it is based. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. You know, because I haven't played the game or anything. Fantasy Harem Historical Romance Shoujo. Maybe. Maybe when it comes out, I'll give it a shot. Show by Rock. Haven't... Well, I think there's multiple seasons of Show by Rock. Um, I'm just going to say no. 
movies, Excel World, Infinite Burst, I still need to watch Excel World, Akatsu Stars the movie, Ajin, another Ajin movie. We have that season two coming in the fall, baby. So I, I don't watch the Ajin films though. Digimon Adventure Try, I'm not watching those. Kimi no Nawa, yes. Yes, you already know. Makoto Shinkai, Comix Wave. It's going to be awesome. We probably won't get the sub for a while though, unfortunately, but Kimi no Nawa, I'm really, really excited for. Probably won't even come out in the summer. It airs in Japan in the summer, but whenever it comes out subbed, I'll be on that. I might have to do like a special reaction for that on my channel just because I love Shinkai and Comix and what they do. Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV. I don't even know what number that is off the top of my head. I'm so bad with Roman numerals. Square Enix Action Adventure Fantasy. Probably no. Kizu Monogatari. No. Ko no Katachi or Silent Voice. You already know. Yes. I'm reading the manga. I will be watching the movie from Kyo Annie for sure. Next one we have Meiji Tokyo Renka. See, uh, it's a sequel, no. One Piece Film Gold, no. Planetarian, yes, I will be watching. Pokemon Movie X, Y, and Z. I haven't even been keeping up with the newer Pokemon movies, so probably no. Second film, no. Yamushi Petal, no. OVA ONA specials, just gonna breeze through these. Katsu no Yona, no. I haven't watched any of it. Majestic Prince, no. Gintama, no. Joker Game, I'll be checking that out. Those specials or whatever they are. Konosuba, yes, I'll be reacting to that OVA. Kumamiko specials, no, I dropped it. Um, Taizai, it's four episodes, so I don't even think it's a second season, but yeah. Oh, actually, this one I just skipped over. I, a lot of you have been telling me to react to the preview for this one, which I have to get to soon. It's like three parts, three episodes by Wit Studio. I'll be checking that one out. Nigero Days, no. Nan Nan Biori, no. One Piece Heart of Gold, no. Persona 5, no. Planetarian, yes. Sancho Sanso, no. Shokugeki no Soma OVA, yeah. Star Mu OVA, no. Tanaka Kun, no. Under the Dog, hell yeah. It looks freaking awesome. And then we have My Teen Romantic Comedy OVA, or whatever that is. So yeah, this was long. They always happen to be long. This happens every time. I'm like, oh, I, I don't want this to be that long. I want this to be kind of short. And then it ends up being so freaking long, like 25, 30 minutes, like this one probably was. I can't see how long I've been recording now, but... Yeah, here's the summer lineup. I know I kind of breezed through it to the end there, but we got through the main stuff, the main series that are coming out for the summer. I'll be coming out with that follow-up video, letting you all know strictly what I'll be live reacting to, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And that's about it. Let me know your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you all.